Hi Cancer, it's Crystal Rose with Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. Um, you can also stalk me on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. I'll be there one day, but I'm Crystal Comfy Soul on TikTok. And uh, if you'd like a personal reading, there's a link down below. You can find me on ComfySoul.com. Okay, so I have a spread out here for you. And there's a lot going on. You've got like a whole thing. Okay, <laughs> so let's try to work this out. Okay, it looks like in the past you ran straight for somebody who was kind of doing a solo introspective thing. And um, they didn't have... They didn't have the passion button working. They, they, you could have been passionate towards them. They appear to be a passionate person. They just didn't have it together at the moment to be available to you. There was too much going on. Um, so let's look at you first. Okay, so for you, this could be you or if it's roles reversed, it's the person on the other side, okay? So if this is you, you're the one who came running in with a whole lot to say. You were ready to finish whatever you had going on in your own life to move forward and do this with them. And the crazy part is um, it actually made you a brand new person because you weren't able to capture them completely. You went in full force open-minded, like a fool, just went for it, like, yay, this is my person, I'm going to make it happen, it's going to be great, like, yay, and, um, but what happened, though, something, it ended, it ended, someone walked away, I think that was reluctantly you, even though you didn't want to, and even though this person on the other side knew that this was a happy new beginning that was taking place, uh, they just still wanted to be alone with their passion. They wanted to be by themselves. They just weren't ready to move forward. They were happy doing them and doing what they were doing and being alone. Um, in the future here, I'm going to need you to be a little more careful with where you put your passion and just don't be, and I'm sure you've learned a lesson. You're probably like, who boy, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> but there's, there is lessons learned here. So when you get excited about somebody and you move forward, be grounded when you're sharing your passion. Take those lessons that you've learned and apply them, okay? Um, okay, now what's coming in? You have a really healthy, beautiful beginning with somebody who was very passionate about you in the past. It does look like this past person is returning to you. And they're ready to start brand new. Um, they've learned something about themselves. They had to heal their inner child. So I'm grabbing this other card to look at what's coming future-wise. This is a deck by Nicoletta... I don't know her name. <laughs> it's in the description. Nicoletta something. Sekechi Chikoni. I don't know. I don't remember what, it, what her last name was. Nicoletta. So, pulled a card. And this person, whew, they really, really needed to heal their inner child. But also, they want to nurture you back. They know they wounded you. They know they weren't available to you. They know they hurt your inner child. But I'll tell you, they're still not entirely ready to hand themselves completely over to you. Um, this is still kind of having their cake and eating it too, but it's them buying time for themselves, spending time with their children, doing their own thing. Um, they just enjoying the sweet spot in the middle where they're not attached to somebody or somebody's not tugging on their energy. So I feel like in the past, they might've had somebody who told them, like controlled them. Let me, let me look at that real quick just to see what happened before, because that sucks. Hmm. Oh, they might have still been in love with this person. Oh, my Lord, what happened? Yeah, they were still attached to somebody and they were juggling. So they were juggling with somebody. Then you came in as a brand new love, but this was not ready. It wasn't ready. They weren't ready for you. You came as part of their soul contract. Yes, you're their person, 
but you came at a moment where they needed you to show up so that they could let go of the past and leave that behind. Now, they didn't do it immediately for you in the moment, but they wanted to be able to. They just didn't know how, and they weren't able to move ahead by themselves. So you showed up to show them that there's something better and there's more ahead. Um, okay, but what's coming next for you? Whew, some craziness. Looks like cat's out of the bag. You know everything, and you're ready to fight. If this person comes back, you have some words. You have a boundary. You have things they need to say to make the... You don't even know if you want this, really. You're just like... Bruh. <laughs> I don't even know, man. I just want to live happy and move forward with my life and just be good. Let me pull another one from the uh, Nicoletta deck to see what's coming for you next with this person. Ay, they're definitely coming for you. They're going to talk to you. And you're going to be really cautious. You're like, yeah, I tasted this before and I don't know that I liked it. I mean, it was good for a minute and then it just became bloody and evil. <laughs> it was rough. It was rough. It was tough to swallow. You're going to, you've got your boundaries up, which is good. You need to do that. Okay. So this person, this person, I'm going to pull one more from the Nicoletta deck to see what's coming. What is their intention towards you? How are they coming at you? When they're talking to you. Ooh. <laughs> Shit. Let me pull another one to get that whole story. Because that could go a couple different ways. Oh my lord. Alright. It's legit. It's legit. They know you're ready to chop their head off. They know it. And they're ready to fight. They're ready to fight for this connection. Um, why? Because once again... You mirrored them. They mirrored you. You showed them what's up, um, which is funny because I like to have music on in the background so that uh, I get messages while I'm channeling and stuff. Um, it's actually What's Up by Four Non Blondes. So you showed them what's up. You showed them what was down, what was up, what was right, what's wrong, what's left, and what you're not putting up with. This is your card of twinning. This is you guys coming together. It's cautious, but their world turned upside down when you showed up. You made them rethink what it feels like to be in a cooperative situation, sharing emotions with people that are playing with you in the same water. Okay, So you, you took muddy waters and you made them pretty and they want to be in the clean water with you, not in the muddy water they left behind in the past. All right, so they want to come back to you. But they're really not sure how to approach because they know that you want to chop their head off. So let me grab a couple cards from the Rebel deck. Just moving forward, some advice for you. And in case you don't know, the Rebel deck is uh, a shit-talking deck. They'll give you some, some tough love. So get ready for that. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about tough love on this channel. So if that's not your thing, <laughs> don't follow. <laughs> but tough love, man. I'll tell you. I'll move you quick. I will move you quickly. We will get this healed and get things cracking. So if you like that, you like action, you like taking action, this is definitely the channel to follow, okay? What? This person? This person is coming at, with, at you with like some kind of offer, some kind of money they're bringing. Their plan is to make it rainbow, woo they're coming in big time. Okay, now I'm laughing because I'm hearing for some of you, like literally this person is a dancer, an entertainer. So like they might make it rain with dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> anyway, that made me laugh. Um, they're ready to change your life and come in and build with you. Okay, so let's see another advice from the Rebel deck. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone and you know why. Okay. Why do they still need alone time? Why? Let's find out. I'm going to go back to Nicoletta. I'm going to pull one card for why they're still alone. That means, oh, that means they let go of the other person. Let me see. Let me make sure that person's gone. I think they're coming back to you. Yes. Yes. They are starting new. They have already started to rebuild, and now they're ready to come grab you along the way. And, um... Now we got Bone Thugs and Harmony is on, Crossroads, 
Meet me at the crossroads. So they're at the crossroads. They're getting ready to come back for you. I'm giving you your warning that they're headed back your way. Okay, now, how are you going to receive this? Let's go to Nicoletta, and then we'll go back to Rebel Deck. How are you going to receive this? Are you going to go to jail for hurting someone? Let's find out. <sighs> Please don't go to jail. Okay. You're here to slay the damn dragons. You're in charge. You're in charge. You know what's up. You're not putting up with bullshit. So if it doesn't sound like sunshine, rainbows, roses, and apologies, you're not having it. Good for you. It's what I needed. It's what I needed. All right. And something from the Rebel deck for you just for fun because... Why not? Why not? Why not? Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel your fire kicking in. You're getting like, yeah, of course they're coming back for me. Of course I got something to say. Of course I'm not putting up with that shit. I don't want that shit. I don't know. That. Like, you are such a smooth, chill sign that I actually like this fiery energy coming out of you right now. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Face reality or live in fucking La La Land? Choose bravely. Yes, you will know what to, what to what's up once you hear them and believe what you see. So if they tell you and it sounds sincere and you're still thinking about the past, you're not gonna believe that they've come back healed and they're ready to build with you. So simmer down and tune into your intuition and just chill for a minute so that you can hear the actuality, not your wound from the past telling you that they can suck it. Yes, be vulnerable. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. And you can drop the ego now. You know you were right, but like, be cool, okay? All right, that's my advice for you. If you'd like a personal reading, a link is in the description below and you can find me at comfysoul.com. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.